Type 2, these examples is where we have no solution. Let's take the first example. Okay, we're going to look at two taxi fares. One fare charges $2 per mile plus a dollar base fee. Another taxi, a different taxi fare charges $2 per mile plus $4 base fee. So if I did a um, table for this, if I go 0 miles, he'll charge 2 times 0 plus 1, $1. If I go one mile, that's two times one is two plus one, three dollars. Go two miles, that's two times two is four plus one, five dollars. Go three miles and four miles, what does he charge in this taxi, right? He'll charge seven dollars and then nine dollars, right? Now let's take this taxi. In this one, if I go zero, one, two, three, four miles, if you go zero miles, he'll charge me four dollars. Go one mile, he'll charge um, six dollars. Go two miles, uh, the fare will be eight. Go three miles, the fare will be ten. Go four miles, the fare will be twelve. Okay, so what can we say? Which taxi is better? Which is cheaper? Now, without having to do a table, I mean, you can see that no matter what happens, this seems to always be three more than this one, doesn't it? See, 12 is three more than nine, that's three more. And it is, because, you know, this is, of course, you know, your 2x plus 1 plus an extra $3, isn't it? That gives you 2x plus 4. So this is always more expensive. And if we graph them, we'll start with this one, 0, 1, uh, 1, 3, 2, 5, and so on. If I graph this one, that's the y equals 2x plus 1 taxi fare. Then if I grasp 2x plus 4, it looks like that. So this is y equals 2x plus 1. This is y equals 2x plus 4. Okay. And what do you notice about the lines? This green one is always 3 more than the blue one, isn't it? So if you take any point, it's always three above. It's always three above the point below and on the blue. So it's always three above. The lines are what's called parallel. They're at the exact same slope, and they will never intersect. And you remember slope intercept. Y equals two, or, or sorry, y equals mx plus b, where this number here is the slope m. You'll notice that the slopes here are the exact same. If the slopes are the same, we're going to graph two parallel lines, and they will never intersect. So there won't be a point of intersection to find, will there? And if we theoretically went in this direction, you know, they're never going to intersect. It doesn't matter what you do. They're parallel lines. They're never going to intersect in either direction. Okay? So let's see what happens, though, when we put these in the calculator for fun. Y1 equals um, 2X plus 1. And y2 equals 2x plus 4, press graph, and now try to find the point of intersection. Obviously, from the graph, you can see they're parallel. But if you go second calc, intersect, enter, 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 you should get error, no sign change, or some similar type of error. In other words, it can't be done because there is no point of intersection. So what do we say? There's no solution. There is no ordered pair x, y that I can plug in to both equations where they'll give me the same thing. There's no solution at all. Okay, and if I solve this by um, algebra, I could use elimination or substitution. I could use substitution. I could take that and put it in here. Okay, and now I would have 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 4. So I'm using both equations. I've substituted this in for y in here. And now I'm going to solve this by, by algebra. Now how would you solve that? Well, how about subtract 2x on both sides? What happens? Subtract 2x on both sides. This makes 0. This makes 0, doesn't it? So the axes are gone. And you have 1 here. And what do you have over here? 4. 1 equals 4. Hmm. That's an interesting equation. 1 equals 4. Does it make any sense? Doesn't make any sense, does it? It's actually called a contradiction.
perfect contradiction and um, it's nonsense. So if you solve by algebra and you find you have a contradiction, that implies that there is no solution to the equation. I'll give you another example of a contradiction. 0 equals 3. See, we could have subtracted 1 from both sides and you'd have 0 equals 3. Or you could have negative 2 equals 7. So these are all different types of contradictions or um, anything of that sort. 0 equals um, 10. Okay? So any time where you're, if you solve by algebra and you come up with an equation that, that is a contradiction, that implies there is no solution and the lines are parallel. So we have parallel um, lines. Okay? So contradiction, parallel lines, no solution. That all goes together. So let's have a look at this example. Example 2, 2, and we'll find... Let's find out how to do this. Now, um, we've got to solve by graphing. So what's the first thing we need to do? I want to put this in my calculator. So I want to put y1 equals something, don't I? So I've got to get y by itself, right? Now, y has been multiplied by 6. So divide by 6 everywhere. Divide each term by 6. And we should get y equals, now, 4 over 6, 2 into 2 go, 2 into that goes twice, 2 into that goes 3 times. We have, should have y equals 2x over 3 minus, and 6 over 6 is 1, right? So our first equation is y equals 2x over 3 minus 1. Now solve this one. You've got to get y by itself. So we subtract 2x from both sides, right? And we should have negative 3y equals negative 4 minus 2x, or negative 2x minus 4, same thing. And now divide everything by negative 3. And that should give us y is equal to negative over negative, positive. 2x over 3, negative over negative, positive 4 thirds. Okay? And so the other slope we can put in the calculator is y2 equals... 2x over 3 plus, you know, 4 thirds, 4 over 3, okay? So if I put do, these two into the calculator, um, just for fun, you can probably guess what's going to happen. 2x over 3 minus 1, and y2 is 2x, oops, sorry, 2x over 3 plus 4 over 3, if I graph those. I should have put subtract here. Error, sorry. So 2x subtract 1. There we go. We'll get parallel lines. And of course, if you go and try and find a point of intersection, second calc, intersect, enter, 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 we get error, no sign change. Okay? So. So, obviously, there's no solution to this. These are parallel lines. And we should also notice what the slope is. Because 2x over 3 can also be written, you know, 2 times x over 3 times 1. And what's x over 1? Well, it's just x, isn't it? So this is actually 2 thirds times x minus 1. So our slope for this line is 2 thirds. Same with this one. 2x over 3 is the same as 2 thirds x. So we have y equals... 2 thirds x plus 4 thirds. And our slope is 2 thirds. So the slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are different. And so, you know, they're going to be parallel lines, but they won't intersect. So no solution. So no solution is the answer to this. And we have parallel lines, of course. Now, if I try to solve this by algebra, I can there's you know I can go back to the original equation and try and solve it, or I can use the um, equations we found here and use these, which you know that might be fun this time. So let's use say these equations: y equals two x minus one, and y equals oh, sorry two thirds x minus one, and y equals two thirds x plus four thirds. Let's solve by substitution. Take this. Plug it in for y, and get 2 thirds x minus 1 
equals two thirds x plus four thirds. So you know, using these equations, this now we can just well subtract two thirds x from both sides, right? And two thirds x minus two thirds x is zero. Two thirds x minus two thirds x is zero. We should have negative one equals four thirds, and the x has disappeared. So again, what do you think of that? It looks like nonsense, doesn't it? And it is. It's a contradiction. It's nonsense, basically. And that implies, whenever we have a contradiction, that implies that there is no solution to this, okay? Now, type 3 is infinite solutions, and we'll do these two examples. So let's start with uh, this one. Let's take a taxi fare that charges a dollar per mile plus for um, one passenger plus another dollar per mile for another passenger and then a three dollar base fee. Okay. The other taxi fare charge is two dollars per mile plus two dollars base fee plus one dollar for the luggage. Okay. Now if we simplify these you'll find that the blue taxi charges two dollars per mile plus three dollars base fee. The green taxi charges two dollars per mile plus three dollars base fee. Okay? What happens when we graph them? When we graph them, the um, blue taxi looks like this. Y equals two X plus three. And the green taxi looks like this. Y equals two X plus three. They're the same line. Hmm, interesting. So the thing about it is when we had lines of different slope, they would always intersect at one point and we'd have one solution. Remember that? When we had parallel lines, they would never intersect intersect at all and we would have no solutions. Now we have a situation where we have two lines and they're sitting on top of each other. So the question is, when they hit each other one time, it's one solution. When they don't hit each other at all, it's no solution. But in this case, aren't they hitting each other all the time in many, many different points, right? So these two lines are intersecting all the way up. So how many, at, a, at how many points are these lines intersecting is the question. Can you count them? Or is there just too many to count? Because it looks like there's infinite points of intersection, right? Which means there are infinite solutions. So if two lines are exactly the same, they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then and they intersect everywhere, that implies we have infinite solutions, okay? So just to check what happens if you crazily put this in the calculator so you know take the first one x plus x plus 3 and the other one is you know 2x plus 2 plus 1 and graph that well how many lines do we see just see one line because they're the same line right and if you go second calc intersect enter 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 it's going to give you x is 0, y is 3, and you think that's the answer. Well, that's not true, because if you go second intersect and then move the marker a little bit, enter, 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 it'll also give you this point. Second intersect. Okay, if I, if I intersect again and I move the marker down here, enter, 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 enter. It'll, it, so it, it'll tell you that any point on, on the line is a point of intersection. In other words, you, what you've done is you've graphed two lines, and they intersect everywhere. Here, 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 they intersect everywhere. So there are infinite points of intersection. Okay? So the only thing left to figure out is what happens if I try to solve this by algebra. So let's use substitution. Put this in here. So take this expression for y, plug it in for this y value, and get 2x plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 3, and now solve the equation. Let's subtract 2x from both sides. Now I'll have 3 equals 3. 
You can then subtract 3 from both sides if you like. It doesn't matter. Some people like to do that. And you have 0 equals 0. Um, the x has gone away. Both the numbers on both sides are exactly the same. And this type of an equation is called an identity. When we have an identity, that implies we have infinite solutions. Okay? So an identity implies that there are infinite solutions and the lines are the same. So both lines are the uh, same. They coincide with each other. They are coincident. Coincident lines. There's where co in coincident lines. Okay? Both lines are the same. That means they're coincident lines. So co coincident lines, uh, you end up with an identity all implies that there are infinite solutions. Okay, so to this, the answer to this is simply infinite solutions. Okay, uh, well, another example of an identity might be, um, you know, one equals one, or you could have negative two equals negative two, or you could end up with say x equals x. The same thing, exact same thing on both sides, or you could just call this an identity: two x plus three equals two x plus three. It's the same thing, isn't it? Exact same thing on both sides. You have an identity. Okay. Um, so, another example of this type, we've got to solve by graphing, then by algebra. So, to solve by graphing, we need to get y by itself. So, press pause in the video and see if you can get y by itself in both equations. Okay. Now, I'll do it. So, we need to add 4 to both sides here. And we'll have 2y equals 6x plus 4. And divide everything by 2. And we have y equals 3x plus 2. On this equation, we need to get the y by itself. So we can subtract 2 from both sides. And we'll have negative 3x minus 2 is equal to, don't forget your negative, negative y. And to get y by itself now, negative y is the same as negative 1y, so just divide everything by negative 1. So negative over negative positive 3x negative over negative, positive 2 plus 2 equals negative over negative, positive y. So if y equals 3x plus 2 and y equals 3x plus 2, both lines are the same. It simply means that if you graph them, they'll be on top of each other, and there'll be infinite points of intersection, therefore infinite, infinite solutions. Infinite solutions, um, uh, so we have the same lines, or, or coincident lines, coincident lines. Oh, that should be an L, obviously. Coincident lines, not signs. Okay, solved by um, algebra, you know, you could go back to the original equations and try and solve by algebra, or you could just use these two lines I found here, and that would be kind of funny wouldn't it? You'd plug this into into where? Into y over here, right? So you'd have 3x plus 2 is equal to your 3x plus 2 and just for fun you could subtract 3x from both sides and you would have 2, oh, sorry, whoops, 2 equals 2 and then you could go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides for fun and you'd have 0 equals 0. So this is definitely an identity so we have definitely have infinite solutions, okay?